right. Starting off today with a donation deck. So I'm recording this for YouTube. Um, say a few things about donation decks before I get started. Uh, there's a few options for donation decks. One, go to my Twitch page, twitch.tv slash EWLandon, and click on the donation panel. Donate 15 bucks and link a deck that you would like me to play. Please don't submit something too ridiculous that you know I'll lose with, because it's just, uh, yeah, for obvious reasons. Um, that's one option. I'll then play it when I have a chance uh, on stream, and I will record it for YouTube, as usual. Your other two options are if you would like me to brew, work on the deck before streaming it or after streaming it, uh, as well as schedule when you would like me to play it on stream on a day and time that you would be able to watch it live. Uh, that would be 20 to 25 bucks, depending on 20 bucks for uh, something with some results. Let's put up a few, few results, um, you know, so that I will have a decent chance of winning with it. 25, if it's a complete brew, something completely new, or a meme. Uh, that would be 25, because I will most likely lose with it. So those are the options for donation index. This one is a four-color Ren control deck. Four-color Ren control deck. The first draft that was sent to me had Vital Smasher Weirds, which I was pretty excited to play with, but I don't blame them for cutting them, because they're probably not that great. Um, so this list doesn't have those. It's a pretty straightforward control deck. A um, few options, or a few choices here that are not your typical list. First one being there are four Force of Negations to go along with four Force of Will. That's eight forces. Wow. And a couple days is in here too. It's not super typical for this style of deck, but it looks pretty good to go along with Ren and Six and Power Goy for the removal package. Is too abrupt decays. What's up, Javier Dominguez? Removal package here is a couple abrupt decays and four lightning bolts. And then threat package is three Tarmogoyfs and three Gurmag Anglers and three True Name Nemesis. And then uh, you've got some Jaces to help you catch back up with your eight, with your card disadvantage from your eight force of forces. And then you have Dak Faden, which uh, is filtering, can help you find the cards you need and get rid of the cards you don't need. Um, works fairly well with Ren and Six to, uh, you know, give you some card advantage. Ren and Six puts your card back in your hand, then you get to filter with Dak, so you can put those, you can put excess lands back in the graveyard if you don't need them. Um, it also threatens to win the game. If you get the emblem, you could maybe ping things with Brandon Six, and then you steal them. Uh, you can steal artifacts, which is pretty nice, but I think generally in this deck, you're mostly using it for the filtering, and your opponents will likely need to start attacking or dealing with it, which can help you gain an advantage as well. On the sideboard we got three, three Pyroblasts, a Plague Engineer, two Assassin's Trophies, two Flesh of Storms, three Echoing Truths, and four Leyline of the Voids is your Graveyard Hate. It's worth noting you can cast these Leyline of the Voids in this deck. Um, not sure what the Echoing Truths are for. I guess they're for Merit Lage, for the most part. Okay, so that's the deck, and now we're going to play it. Again, this will be on YouTube. This is a donation deck.
can do as well as we did with yesterday's donation deck, 4-1 with Infect, where my loss is basically a punt. Punt. Our bad keep, I forgot about the whole forest thing. The whole forest thing. Huh. sure which hand was better depending on what our opponent's playing but this one's a keep and the other one was not I'm just gonna play or get rid of the skirmagging there I guess or a force could get rid of the force and then I've got one force I've got a Force pitching force. I've got a ponder, a lightning bolt, and a Gurmag angler. That's probably better. So this deck probably likes to fetch volcanic first anyway, most of the time. Well, it's volcanic or drop. Maybe we should have got a rid of Gurmag since it's our splash card. I'm wondering if Gurmag's really worth splashing. I guess we have Ley Lines and Plague Engineer. Oh, and Abrupt Decay. <laughs> What's up, the Jeros? And the Goat. we keep this. It's a little risky. We have a ponder on top though. Opponent said good luck. My hand seems bad versus non-reanimator. Uh-oh. Well, I guess not. That happened. I realize they're on depths, but I think I have to try and mana screw them or I will lose. Getting mana screwed by de by depths, pretty unfortunate. Land. Yeah. You know what? Let's try and kill them. One more land, baby. No! 
Well, good thing we played this. Hmm. Any land. Nice. We do need to find a wasteland before they find a dark depths. That's not a dark depths. Uh oh. There goes my friend and six. I'm guessing they don't have a crop rotation. <laughs> I always gotta say what I need, right? Land, land, land! I think I say it three times. No dark depths, one time. Sub simply call. That's not a dark depths. Ooh, that's pretty good. Golly, starting off the day with a gifted sub. Thank you so much. Welcome, simply call, to the Sub group. Subgroup. The group of subbers. I think Goalie's really loving uh September. Half price subs. Just gifting away. I very much appreciate it. Yeah, you didn't know that? <laughs> yeah, the subs are half price this month, 250, and I think I get all 250. So that's pretty cool. Oh, really? Sorry, I didn't realize that. Hmm. Excuse me. Yeah, what the hell, Twitch? September, but they don't let you do gifted subs at half price? Yeah, it definitely should. 100%. Alright, uh, decay. So they have some things we probably need to decay. True name's not that good. We do need our threats, though. Potentially cut. Yeah, I mean, we have bolts that can hit. Actually, the uh, Re Elvish Reclaimer can't really be bolted. You should. Be like, yo, I've gifted so many subs, and then I don't get to take advantage of September. Like, this is your, your promotion. And, like, somebody who makes the most subs doesn't get... To take advantage of it? Come on. I almost want to keep this just because of I have bad memories of that wasteland last game. Um I mean this hand's okay anyway, so I'll keep it. It's too many lands. But we have ponder. Into abrupt decay for something. Uh oh. You called it. I'm putting the card, I don't care if it's discarded in my hand. You read my book? I should write a book, huh? Damn, 
they're trying to wait. They're trying to mana screw me again. Good thing I keep this ultra mana heavy hand. Suck on that one, Reclaima. Bajuka Bog. Is that even supposed to be in? I guess it is. So the new everyday turtle this morning was excellent. I'm totally with you. Ban Plague Engineer, but don't touch Crystal Brand. Yeah, I mean, the Crystal Brand thing, like I said, I don't really think banning... What? them that effect even if I didn't cast spell? Okay. So Hex Mage GG. Oh. That's not a Hex Mage. I, I don't like every time they ban things it narrows the uh the format. I said that was a misclick. I'm gonna... Eh. I'm gonna brainstorm. Just because my removal's uh, expensive. I should have maybe pondered. That's great. No, this is uh, a donation de deck from a viewer. Not Stryko's list. Significantly different from Stryko's list. How did it go with the Ascension League? Pretty horrible. It is on YouTube. I was really tired, and the deck is... I was really tired. <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of streaming yesterday and a lot of losing. Shall we draw a deck, Faden? Probably. Just turn off my LZI, picking a GP land in a couple weeks. I'm looking forward to Plague Engineer. Not looking forward to it. Yeah, they should ban Plague Engineer. Card's mm -hmm. stupid. Blue, red.
we're in a pretty good spot here. I looked away for a minute and didn't realize you played a keen trip and knew what you were going to draw. I thought you seriously just named Dak, drew Dak, and went on with your life. I think that was completely normal. That would have been funny. Shall we play a Dak fade? Seems like a good idea. So we don't have a lot of black sources left. Oh, we don't need to worry about that, do we? I feel very far ahead. <laughs> what do you guys think? start gifting subs to them instead. We do have four wastelands, actually. Just pass here. keep thinking something scary is about to happen and then they remove a counter from Dark Depths. Depth straws. They said I don't deserve to win. I mean, I don't. I think if if an opponent ponder shuffles, you're not supposed to lead on wasteland most of the time. I don't know what their hand was, but it's a little, little bit on the salty side there. Also, I didn't know they were on a Wasteland deck. Otherwise, I might have shuffled. But then they're definitely... They definitely... If you're playing a Ponder on turn one with a, with a non-basic land and you shuffle, then it just, like, indicates that your opponent should Wasteland to you. Anyway. My hand was fine. I just... Got wastelanded off my one land. I had a ponder and a wasteland. I think my keep was fine. I just watched Arkin play against this person when they were on Reanimator. Which means I guess we should mulligan. Whoops. I didn't mean to click keep. <laughs> Whoops! Oh, they're not our animator, good. <laughs> The 
the salt mine. <laughs> this click makes us keep a good hand, I know. I'm just jamming shit here, uh, yeah, because I don't want to not do, do anything. I don't want to be doing nothing. And I have, like, Ren I have Dak Baden too. Next turn. I think we'll draw the land. Start playing out threats. Next time we can play Gurmag Angler and Timer Boy if they swords this. I wonder if they're going to try and play a, a adjacent to a daze. Probably not. Might be why they didn't play anything last turn. Seems that way. Batter's full. Into a daze. Um, I mean, I can abrupt decay it. I think shuff I think brainstorming's okay here. Black, green. Mana's pretty well tied up and her hand's pretty good anyway, so this is okay. I just attack into it actually. They have a true name, we're in big trouble, but I think they would have played it by now.
love how the council's judgment shows how democracy works. <laughs> counter this is when they try and slam it back on the table. I guess I was... Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. That was a good draw. Need to draw, um... So good. Hmm. I guess we have to hope they don't draw a land. I draw removal. Maybe I was supposed to just hold this up. No, we can draw removal. Abrupt decay. Or more threats, I guess. Now we have really live draws here. Removal. Well, they have to block. That's this was a bad not attack on their part because now they can't equip. Like they could have attacked, gained four. Now they don't have great draws. I can just counter. Yeah, I think that was a mistake not to attack on their part, because I think I'm going to win now, and I think I would have lost if they attacked. And I was just dead to a land if they attacked. Uh... Hmm. Are they just looking for a land here? I guess I just... Let that resolve. Maybe I'm supposed to counter that. They can play Batter Skull soon. They chose to not shuffle. Um. Huh. I'll counter that one, because I, I can draw cantrips myself. And I think now they can't play this in time. They could have a true name on top. That would be pretty wild, though. That would be a wild cast of this, but I guess they don't have to activate it. I would imagine they have anything good here. Yeah. Wow.
four forces is enough. We could split them up to protect our Jays. They did play into days a lot, but I don't think that makes our days good in this matchup. Spaghetti Sunday, thanks for the follow. Sam looks pretty good to me. Maybe we're supposed to cut some waste lines in this matchup. I always forget about that. They chose to shuffle, so that's nice. Alexander, never mind. Tier one. Six month streak. Awesome. Thank you so much for the uh, support. I really do appreciate that. And uh, you get a new badge now. I love seeing these six months in a row. That is amazing. Blast here instead of because I don't really want to pitch um, true name. I don't want to pitch true name. I will pitch true name, but I don't want to pitch true name. This one's problematic. I guess I shouldn't have split my forces. Maybe I was supposed to use this Badlands. Doesn't seem like it to me. Well, we, we have a uh, true name and plague engineer to work with. I think we can put back one wasteland. Maybe we want to wasteland them a bunch of times. They obviously only have non-basics at this point. But I'm not going to play a wasteland this turn because I need true name for their batter skull. True name plus fire blast, I mean. Well, I could put a waste in on top and then decide next turn.
Maybe I was... Uh, I don't have blue cards for that Force of Negation. Because I can, like, Council's Judgment this and then I'm in trouble. Hopefully they Force. They... Maybe we can beat that. I guess they want to play their GTA. I think we just uh, put this on on core, I guess, or art or whatever, so they don't get GTA. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Put it on. Ooh, that's a good draw. Uh, one, two, three, one, two. I'm gonna put it on. Yeah, I'll put it on. I don't know. Unsure. I'm probably blocking. Or, yeah, I'll put it on this. No, I'll put it on. Merfolk? Rogue? I don't know. I don't know. Because I feel like if they play a Merfolk Rogue, we're going to die. So I'll put it on that and not block with it. Huh. Brainstorm. Brainstorm is pretty good. I feel like we gotta get a little lucky from here. Just like last game. Well, actually, last game I think they made a mistake with their not attacking, is the main thing. Plus, no. What's up, Kalugaru? You cannot resub on the... I've had trouble figuring out how to do that, too. Twitch needs to fix their app, because, yeah, figuring out how to sub is not good from your phone. I can't figure it out. This is pretty annoying. 
losing the ball. Tack. Just with that. Hey, you got a gifted sub, Caligari. Thank you again, Gully. on the screen. Our best bet here is that they equip Batter Skull. I think they're planning to equip the Batter Skull. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. They didn't bounce it. They didn't equip it. I don't know what they're planning to do. Swords against six. I think I knew I had that on top, I was supposed to shuffle there. <laughs> it's thinking too much about what they're planning to do with that that batter skull. What their plan was with the batter skull and why they aren't doing it. Maybe because my life total is so low. Uh, that's a good idea. What's up on the rug? How's it going? What's up? You see my pet cam? It's empty. We are, but we have Renin 6, which is good. Renin 6 is good. Work sucks, that sucks. 
Alright, so we gotta watch out for back to basics, basically. We do have this. But, uh, we can start slamming threats, and then... That's good. Slamming threats is real good. I'm gonna get mana screwed because Honorok told me to cut my lands. Draw a land, please. Nope. If they slam a stone forge, I guess I have to force it and hope I draw a land if they force back. But this is really rough. Too. Really need a, a, a land. Alright, land. Land, land, land. Not a land. They don't have lands either. Oh, we have a land. They don't have a land. We're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. You, we're getting there. I mean, it's not like... Actually, I guess a wasteland would have been okay, too. Happy September to you, too, honor up. Where are you staying in Atlanta? Are you going to Atlanta? I haven't booked my hotel yet. They shuffled. Oh, yeah. We are outlucking our opponent here. Someone else took care of it. Your mom? <laughs> you had your mom book your hotel for you? I should ask my mom. Actually, even though bolts can kill my opponent because I don't want to get back to basics and lose this game that I'm not going to lose. true name? I guess I shouldn't have worried about back to basics at this point. My advice, best advice. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You've never been wrong. I think I bolt them if they play a true name, right? I'll just bolt them anyway. But Goyf can get so much bigger. Let's see if we can find a bolt. Or another 
Dak Beta. Hey, look, we found the bolt. The bolt. We found the bolt. Killed him. I didn't think I was going to win that game. But then I found a land and my opponent didn't. I guess that's magic for you sometimes. Calculated. Gotta keep it lively for chat, too, you know? Well, I mean... I was just saying... If I got mana screwed, I could blame you. Even though cutting two wastelands was definitely right. But, if I got mana screwed, it was definitely your fault. <laughs> because I could've cast a goif off of a wasteland, you know what I'm saying? Of never playing wasteland or dual lands. They just didn't play any lands though, let's be real. Bozo Bozo's on the play. That's not a Delver. I think I'm gonna wasteland though. <laughs> let's see. One top, one bottom. Hopefully they're showing Del up Delver. Or hopefully they don't have any more lands and I win. If they're Delver and they play a Delver. Okay. So we can ponder here. Ooh. It's a blue card I'm happy to pitch now. Our hand's like real awful. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Anurag! This is your fault. I think they're show and tell. I'm gonna force this. I, I think they're looking for lands. We need to draw a freaking land. This is like the theme of my goddamn stream is we need to draw a goddamn land. Every fucking time. Give me a land. Maybe I should start mulliganing hands with one land. All right, wasteland. Oh, never mind. That's uh, the nuts. Literally can't lose if this resolves. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it! I still stand by my force of will because now they're brainstorm locked. I guess they would have been anyway. Son of a bitch. And they could still be. They, they could still be show and tell. Oh hey look, we're drawing things. They did top bottom. Leave that wasteland in my graveyard. Alright, Delver. We gotta 
removal spell here for your thing. I hope it's not a Renin 6. That's not a Renin 6. Okay, we can beat that. Easy beat. No true name. Yeah. No threat. Perfect. That's a great draw. It was like the best draw. Like that draw was the best draw. That was the best draw. There were no better draws than that draw. Pretty sure that was the best draw. Yeah. That's not the best draw. Certainly not the best draw. Five, six, seven. Seems a little loose. Try this out. Go and try this on for size. Red and six is ridiculous. Like, it's ridiculous. This hand is a uh, mulligan. We're really good at drawing our jaces. I'll keep this. We're going to get wastelanded and lose, but that's okay. Because we have a Ren and Six. <laughs> we have a Ren and Six. If we can play Ren and Six on turn two with a fetch land and force a build back up. Delver just I'm supposed to be UR Delver can't really beat it. They on their ponder went ahead and no shuffle. It's fine. Maybe we'll draw a fetch land here. Be a good draw, fetch land. Ready for it? Fetch land, fetch land, fetch land. Fetch land! No, that's fine. That's pretty good too. Their PR name was two on the bottom, as uh, I would like to mention. 
I would like to mention they put two cards on the bottom. I'm a lot of things to drink while streaming today. I need to go to the store. They really don't want to get Wasteland, do they? That's a fetch land. That's a fetch land. All right, run in six. Do what you do best. Run in six. Kill Delver, that's what you do best. Bolt. Oh, that's beatable. Another really fun card, True Name Nemesis. Good draw. Luckily, I drew another Ren and Six. <laughs> uh oh. There goes my green source. Oh, what? Let's say what? I don't want to force a will, so I'm going to play this out in case they have a daze. Hmm. I think I need this ponder. If they want to like double bolt my Ren with their Dread Boar, I'm pretty okay with that. Why did they fetch? that because I can't really ping it because I have this bolt two cards on top Denying random six mana seems so much better even in the blind. Oh yeah, because they, they forced the are they wasted the uh, this thing instead? I wonder what they top topped and not playing anything. Attacking Renin Six, lightning bolting it. It's a little bit on the late side for that. Like maybe they have another bolt. But like I said, I'm totally okay with this. I couldn't, I mean, look at my situation here. I'm just, like, sitting here. Now I'm in a good situation. But, like, if they had a bunch of tokens, like, that's bad news for me. Hmm. 
Bolt. Time to go to skid. What's up, El Dorte? I would have I would have loved to have found her as well, but uh, I played around days instead. Removal would be nice. I think if we draw removal, we win. We probably win either way, but if we draw removal, we can't lose. Would I have attacked if I hadn't drawn the Goyf? No. I would just keep sitting here because three damage a turn doesn't really raise them brainstorming every turn. Four horsemen. That's a deck I don't really understand. We are three and oh! I mean, I've seen it multiple times. I just always forget what it is or why anybody would want to play it. What does it do? It's something with the graveyard, right? Some more looping, looping stuff in the graveyard. I will be right back, by the way. I will be right back. Shortly. Right back. Four horsemen. Mesmeric orb, basalt monolith thing. Three fairy makes it playable. You can plus the to fairy and cast the dread return in response to the. Yeah, see, I don't know what the combo is. <laughs> but it sounds sweet. He uses mesmeric orb and basalt monolith. We lost to JPA and Lewis CBR. Uh oh. They grind and they trying to get those trophies. Well I think I have cooler trophies than both of them. <laughs> I think my trophies are cooler than both of their trophies combined, so whatever. Oh, okay, self nil. Archimepa dread repult. <laughs> that sounds funny. Is that the best way to get Emrakul into play? Sounds like it. Sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> plays decks I can't beat, but I'll try. See? Can't win. Actually, we have this for loam. That's really nice. And we have True Name Nemesis. Maybe we can win. Is this the white uh, Eldrazi? 
I mean the white um, uh, uh, the white depths depths deck. How do we beat that? We gotta find some ra removal. I'm gonna brainstorm because some of our removal costs two mana. Unfortunately, I have to like fetch ponder here. I hope they hit a thing. Bolt? No. There we go. It sounds pretty sweet. It sounds pretty fun. What is this? This is something I have to counter. Because I don't have a counter for a something else. <laughs> huh. Uh I'll guess I'll brainstorm. Maybe I'll hit a wasteland. No. Hmm. Bolt seems better or worse than Dak Fade. I guess we have a brainstorm, so we don't need Dak Fade in. Pick their mocks. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. I know, I didn't realize it. I could have like really mana screwed them here. That was dumb. Maybe we'll draw it again. Imagine if we had Dak Faden and we had this Wasteland. Oh my god. Oh my god. Should I, uh... Yeah, no. I could have another crop rotation. Hell yeah. Man, I should have taken that Mox. They would have conceded like three turns earlier. Definitely would have conceded like three turns earlier. Um, how did I sideboard? Did we already play? I don't even remember what I'm doing. I guess it cut now. I don't know. I don't know. Breath decay days. Cut days. Uh, cut one force of negation. We kind of want it. They might have a loam. Cut two. They might not have loam. <laughs> cut true name. There we go. By the way, that Ponder Shuffle to, br to the uh, Lightning Bolt was pretty key. Yeah, I know. This is the best part of the deck. There are eight Forcibles in this deck. This hand is perfect. <laughs> this hand only loses to nothing. So it only wins. Except for this Forcible is not great. Yeah, guess what we have an answer to? That... Blue card. Thank you. A blue card. No discard. Uh oh. Well, these colors don't do much. Uh oh. No! 
Those were my best things! What the hell? What the hell? What just happened? My DAC faded. I mean, my, my thing. My fucking Renin 6. And my fucking shirt. Ah. This is not good. This is bad. Yeah. Protection from red. No attack. Interesting. We need to... We need to draw a another red and six. What is this? Now, I need that. I think that's my win condition. I have one card left. Pretty sure that was my win condition. See ya, Eldorte. Good luck with your deck this weekend. Damn it. Double removal? What's going on? No more green mana. Danili. No more green mana. Ren and six. Jace is pretty good too. Jace is pretty, pretty good as well. Not gonna lie. Do you wanna put this on the bottom? Yes. No. 100% lucky? They got lucky there. Jeez. unfair definitely <laughs> what is this green sun zenith for three should have left a Should I wasteland? I can't wasteland that with my abrupt decay. They're not. 
not gonna use this. You're not gonna use this. They have a crop rotation. So I have to think about this. So I can attack first. No. If I brainstorm, they're going to crop rotate. Yeah. So I have to lose my Jace here to not die. Word. Crop rotation. something All right he's dead on board uh yes you're right I could have brainstormed and then decayed in response to crop rotation that would have been better. Here he has the chump block, which is great. That's the dog cam. The dog never sits over there, though. I don't know what's up with that. I think I win. They have to draw depths off the top here. And then they're still dead. Yeah! Wow, we're 4-0. With this donation deck. Yeah, I, I would still beat Depths, because I had 10 power. Two fives to his five life. And I had the force will, so it was just uh, hard. No outs. Radiant Fountain is best land ever printed. <laughs> I don't know what that one is. When Radiant Fountain enters the battlefield, you gain two life. Tap for colorless. This is the best land ever printed. Have you tried Soul Sisters before? Soul Sister tokens in Legacy? This is the, a good way to gain life. It's a great way to gain life. Wait, we just beat Depths. We just beat Depths. It was Maverick Depths. We should have a good matchup, right? Or am I wrong about that? Maybe we have too much removal. I have no idea. We have four wastelands, that's something. Remember yesterday when my round five opponent looked at their opening seven and then conceded the match? Let's get that guy again. Let's get that guy again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 42 AD, Storm. Well, we have a bunch of force wheels in our deck. Alright, we have to, we have to hope 
Then 42 AD thinks I'm on reanimator and goes for it on turn one. He plays 61 card storm. He plays 61 card storm. Uh, all right. The jig is up. I think. I, I like to think I need to daze this. I think I need to daze this. Because days is just going to be bad. I need cantrips. Hmm. It's not good. It's not good. This is not good. We need to find a goif. Is what we need to find now. While he stumbles. Go away for Wasteland. Cantrip. Ooh, Wasteland. Wasteland, 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 Wasteland. Wasteland. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh, we need to find a Wasteland deck. We need to find a Wasteland. No land, no land. Pass. No. Land. No lands. All right, let's go. I need to find that wasteland. It's probably just taking force will, I would imagine. So we can put a clock into play and hope to win that way, or we can draw a wasteland off the top. One time. Can't trip into wasteland. Wasteland, wasteland, wasteland. Come on, wasteland. Yes! Yes! No land, concede, concede, no land, concede. <laughs> do it, do it. Doesn't want to concede. It's a good draw. Never give up. On top on bottom so it's probably a non-basic in his hand here we're just looking for a blue card that is a blue card I was considering it but I think I need the uh, the threat and the counter yeah If he plays a land and plays anything off of it, I will counter that. Alright. Uh, I think we can't lose now. 
I better be careful what I say, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to ultimate quite yet, so I will never run out of lands. No, you don't have to pay two for days. Or four, so you can just pay the alternate cost. It is busted. Look at all these force negations. Infinite force of negations. <laughs> Now he's dead. Now he's dead. Yeah, I mean, they're going to maybe want to make empty thorns against us, so might be a reason to even have two answers to it. I'm just cut like this. And I mean, Renin 6 is actually not very good against them. It's not the best. Neither is True Name. There are Ley Lines in this deck. This is a donation deck. We haven't played against any graveyard decks, so, but I mean, we'll see how they go here. This seems fine. The question is, do I put both in N No, right? I just put one in and brainstorm the other one away. He's gonna play something here, that's fine. I'll like let him fluster this or whatever he's doing. Ooh, that's pretty good. We're gonna do one, two, three. This way we can't get any of those good cards discarded.
This deck you play is again busted against black red. Every deck you play besides VR hates it so hard. But yet I always lose to reanimator, don't I? <laughs> or at least it feels like that. Because reanimator is too too strong. This is not Orm's List. This is uh, another person donated. I don't know if people like to share their name, but I can't remember their screen name. I have their name in the email. But this is a donation deck, not Orm's. That's why there's still 10. There's 10 more Orm donation decks coming. We have another donation deck after this. My favorite meme, so guess what I'm playing, Jax? You know what my favorite meme is. Now, we're playing different lists. Different things. Uh, brainstorm. We have a free thing to get rid of here. This is pretty good. Well, I have, okay, I have two favorite meme decks that I'm thinking about playing. One of them is Hive Lake, and one of them is Oops All Spells. He said wild about the ley line. Oh, the baits. The baits. Oh, the baits. Do I know what's on top of my deck? No. Those baits. Ooh, those baits. Maybe he was just testing the waters. We're getting really close to winning. We have everything. Just gotta be a little careful about how much mana we tap. UWU is landed. What's that mean? It's probably oops all spells after this. 
Jax. It means woo woo brother. I don't know what you guys are talking about. What's up, Viral Drake? Oh, I didn't realize that was you saying that. What's up? What's up? Oh my god, what am I doing here? I think I'm playing Gurmag Angler. Or is that bad? I just play a. I'm playing Gurmag Angler. Four zero, and we're up a game. Viral Drake with a donation deck that plays Leyline of the Void <laughs> in a brainstorm deck, but I mean we're crushing it. It is. So I think he's realizing he needs to go for it now, and our hand is really good. You can type in decklist and it'll be right there. This will also be on my YouTube if you missed the most of the video or most of the league. I will be uploading it this evening onto the YouTubes, my YouTube, UW Landon. I think this is where we the game's over and we win. You're very welcome. Is it ridiculous of me to play out this thing on Goblin? Okay, and then I have Double Fort Double Forest Flusterstorm. Double Flusterstorm Fort Double Forest? That seems fine, right? I have Force. I have Double Forest. Force. Force. Flusterstorm Flusterstorm. I don't think I can lose. The only, hand, the only deck that can beat your hand is oops. And how would they do that? Xanthid Swarm. Xanthid Swarm beats this hand. If it attacked, if it had haste. Imagine Entomb for anger, play Xanthid Swarm, attack, kill you. Because I'm not, I mean, like, I'm not going to counter a Xanthid Swarm, right? Oh, I also have Leyline of the Void. Okay, that resolves. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, resolves.
I have a donation deck that was play your favorite meme deck. And so I have to decide between my favorite meme, meme decks for the my next league. But I kind of hate Oops. It's so bad. It's literally the worst. There's nothing worse than Oops. I have Oops all counter spells right now. <laughs> oops all counter spells. I'm gonna steal his LED. And ultimate. No, I can't ultimate. Accidentally use it? <laughs> that would be kind of rude, wouldn't it? You can undo LEDs. Like, I could use it, show in my hand, and then undo it. But let's not get crazy here. I think that would just be rude. Stealing the LED was rude. I mean, it wasn't nice. I think I cast too many spells on this turn. I could have just cast nothing and had more counter spells. Playing. I'm playing a deck with a lot of counter spells in it. <laughs> a lot of counter spells. Yet I always had a, a complete, a completely full hand of cards, even though I wasn't casting them correctly because of Renin Six. Renin Six is like absurd. All right, that was awesome. We only lost one game. We only lost one game, and it was to blue white. So, I mean, considering we only lost one game, so this was one of the uh, donation decks for tuning and working on, but my, my god, we only lost one game. <laughs> All right, okay. I, I really like that there are eight Force of Wills in this deck, and that 
you're always ahead on cards. So, like, the deck's obviously made pretty freaking well. I mean, honestly, I forget uh, the person out there. I know your, your real name, but I don't want to use it, just in case. Uh, but I forget your screen name. This deck's really well made. <laughs> like... I could see maybe cutting like one Echoing Truth, or even two, and only having one, and playing like a second Engineer, Plague Engineer. I'm not 100%. Alright, hold on. So these are mostly for... Merit Leash. There you are. Mo Black. Okay, got your screen name. I'm going to write that down so I can use it in the video. Mo Black. Hold on a moment. Yeah, great deck, Mo Black. It was... We only lost one game. Did you get to watch the whole thing? Alright, so the only things I would change... So the Echoing Truths... Whoops. Echoing Truth is great against Merit Lage, but... I think three is a lot. Yeah, and Tyrant Scorn is... is a little bit more flexible. So I, I think Tyrant Scorn... I like one Echoing Truth because it's uh, it captures lots of things that maybe are, you know, unexpected stuff that people might be playing. So one Echoing Truth, maybe one Tyrant's Well, I like having three answers to 2020s that aren't Chase. So I do like that. But I kind of want a second Plague Engineer. And... I think there's a good... Right. But, so, but Plague Engineer has... Yeah, that's why I like one. It covers a few things. I think you could split this up. Although I don't know if it's necessary to put a red elemental blast in here. Blasty. Again, I don't think it hurts to do this. And like, as you saw, like our last opponent was playing therapy and I didn't bring in power blast, but you might against storm. Yeah. That's the thing about engineer is what would you cut? Honestly, like, it looks like you've played this deck a lot, because it seems really well constructed. And you did send me a list with, uh, Vile Smasher Weirds first, and then you switched to this at the last minute. I don't think we would have 5 would with the Vile Smasher Weirds. That seemed more fun. Like, Vile seems really fun, but not very good. So I, I imagine you've been working on this deck for a while, but this one, this version seems really well put together. Like... The threats are fucking no joke. The Ren is really good because you're playing... Like, this deck doesn't use Ren in the same way that other decks do. I mean, you have Wasteland, so you also have four of them. Uh, so you're going to be... You don't necessarily need Ren to do the Wasteland stuff. But Ren plus Dak Faden helps a ton with your eight forces, which is super strong. Like, having eight forces is a little bit sketchy. But you have so much card advantage. Um, yeah, I think so. I think so, especially with with Tyrant Scorn being added to the sideboard. And, like, these Assassin's Trophies were so good out of the board. Because you bring them in against, like, Delver decks, and you just have so many removal spells. And then you, ha and you have it for, like, uh, Depths decks as well. So it seemed really good out of the board. So at my first glance, I was thinking, like, Black didn't really seem worth it. But it, it adds just, like, such a high level of threat density. As well as some good removal. And it didn't seem to, to be too much of a problem, at least in this league. Even though we got Wastelanded and stuff. Um, it didn't seem too big of a problem. Especially with Ren. Compared to, like, Delverdex. Delverdex always felt very clunky. With the two black sources, to me. But this deck, it didn't feel so clunky. 
So, I mean, I think that's the only change I would make, other than maybe cutting the ley lines for surgicals. Uh, ley lines very impactful. So, I don't know. I think it's worth exploring more to play ley line in a fair deck, but I, I personally always think, like, you kind of want to be able to cantrip into your remove or into your uh, graveyard eight, but maybe just the speed of the graveyard decks and the fact that they all have discard, maybe leyline is where you want to be. I've never been a fan of power blast in the main deck. It's just like there's there's a lot of de I mean just in this league there were at least two or three of those matches, Power Blast would have been dead. And Days, Days seemed quite good. I mean, the fact that it's unexpected and you have some powerful two and three drops, uh, I think I really like the two Dazes. Yeah. All right, well, YouTube, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a pretty sweet league, 5-0, with uh, donation Renin 6, four-color Renin 6, mid-rangey, control-ish deck. Pretty sweet.